Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Maas. I actually did just forget who wrote Throne of Glass. Wow. But this is everybody it's your girl Jay and today I'm here with my TBR for September 2020 if you are new to this channel then you don't know this but my mom actually picks my TBR and she always has like a fun little theme that goes along with it so this month's theme is time because it seems like this whole year has been flying by so without further ado let us get started <sighs> So the first book that she chose is Our Year of Maybe by Rachel Lynn Solomon. She chose this for a year because like I said, the year has gone so quickly. Like I cannot believe that it's already September. That blows my mind. This book follows Sophie who has had a crush on Peter for as long as she can remember. Peter is on the list for needing a kidney transplant. She then discovers that she is a match for his kidney so she decides that she is going to donate it to him. She believes that maybe this is the key to getting him to feel the same way about her but when he wakes up and starts living life again he is drawn towards Towards a boy who is starting a band and in need of a keyboardist. It's basically the story of them trying to work out their friendship and keep it alive. But I have not heard anybody talk about this book so I have no idea if it's good or not or anything but we'll see when we read it. The next book that she picked was The Accident Season by Moira Fowley Doyle and I know that this author wrote a spell book of The Lost and Found which everybody read last year and absolutely adored. I'm not sure if anybody has read this one and liked it but it basically follows a family where every October is the accident season where a lot of bad things happen to them and the worst thing that could possibly happen to Kara is her falling for somebody and getting her heart broken and it's like the story of that. Apparently there's a lot of secrets and things that come to light and I am here for a spooky read so I'm hoping that it's spooky and not just like another contemporary heartbreak book. I want witches and magic abilities, okay? The next book I actually chose because I've been meaning to read it forever and it fits the theme so I'm counting it as her picking it. And she also said it was a good idea, so we're going with it. It's Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Maas. I actually did just forget who wrote Throne of Glass. Wow! But this is the second book in the Throne of Glass series. I read the first one a year or two ago and just have not continued on with this series. And I really do need to because I really want to know what happened to Selena and Prince Dorian and the other guy who I don't even remember his name. That's how long ago it was that I read this so it needs to be done. The next one is another midnight book is Wink Poppy Midnight by April Genevieve Toolchoke and I am actually really excited for this just because of the tagline. It says a hero, a villain, a liar, who's who. I have no idea what that means but I am definitely intrigued. I think that it's like a thriller. It says two girls, one boy, one summer, one bad thing, what really happened, someone knows someone is lying. So I'm hoping someone died. The next one she chose was Infinity Sun by Adam Silvera and all I know about this is that it is a fantasy book. It is his first fantasy book and not a lot of people enjoyed it. So I'm hoping that I enjoy it but I guess we'll see. I have it on audiobook from my library so I'm hoping to get to it fairly quickly. I have to finish my Dark Vanessa first and then I'll be reading this one. The next book she chose was Seven Days by Patrick Senecal and I am probably the most excited for this one. It follows a man whose daughter is kidnapped and murdered and so he decides that he is going to take justice into his own hands and kidnap the man who killed his daughter and torture him for seven days. I'm here for it. I am a big fan of thriller books and this sounds like it's definitely going to be thrilling and spooky and creepy and right up my alley. The next so. is Between Before and After. This is by Maureen Doyle McQueary and I got this book a very long time ago from HarperCollins and I have had it on my shelf since then. I haven't actually picked it up. I know that it's like a historical coming of age book about like complex relationships between mother and daughter which I am very intrigued by just because like my relationship with my mom is so strong and I just find it really fascinating when people don't have that relationship and like why and blah 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 blah. I don't know, I just can't relate so I find it really interesting and intriguing to read about so 
that's what we gonna do. Now the final book that she chose is Beast Made of Night and is by Tochi Onibuchi and I'm like obsessed with this cover because of uh, purple and shiny right up my alley. I honestly have no idea what this is about but it's a real pretty book. All I remember about the synopsis is that it's about this girl who like eats the sins of others and it's like a royal family kind of thing like she has to go eat the sins of a royal family member or something. I could be very wrong but I think it sounds real interesting. But I'm honestly here for it just for the cover and this is another one that I have on audiobook from my library so it will be done fairly shortly. Alright everybody so that was my TBR for September 2020. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these books and what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!